Hello everyone. In this video, I will cover an interesting topic which is double trailing in your SaaS. Okay. So in this video, I will try to explain you what is double trailing and where are we using it with an example. Okay. So double trailing actually holds your input buffer indefinitely. Indefinitely means it is holding it permanently until there is data present in the input buffer to read. Okay. What is it? I will try to explain it to you using an example. So we are using it to read multiple observations present in a single line. Okay. And this is an option available in the input statement. So you write in the input statement and it is denoted or represented by double at the rate. Okay. So this is your double trailing and where we use it in the input statement. So the first line you might get confused. Okay, so I will try to explain you with an example. So let's say you have a just a minute. I'll make it as a comment. Yeah, data data set name. Okay, now in input, let's say we have ID and name. Okay, and then in observations, what I will do, just see 101 is an ID name is let's say the now I'm writing 102 name is chef 103 kirti okay 104 uh, any name reshma okay so these are the four names i have written can you see i have written all the observations in a single line right i have written it in a single line now what i'll do i'll just run it okay Now in your output, you can see that you got only 101 and div. That is the first one. See when the input buffer, how the value will be read. First 101, okay, it will go to ID. Then div, div, it will go to the name. Now it will try to read it from the next line. Okay, over here, let's say 105. Okay, so 105. Now what will happen? No, it will read from this line. So all these, all these values are not read only, right? I can, I'll just show it to you. See 105 Preshma that came, but what about these values? I wanted to read these values also. Okay. So to do that, you have to use your double trailing. So now I think you will be able to understand the second point which is to read multiple observation present in a single line. So in a single line I have four uh, uh, ID and names right. So these are multiple observations. I want to read it. So what I will do double at the rate. Just put this. Now try to run. See all the four values are read. Okay. Now the second point and third point are clear i hope now let's come to the first point that is the basic understanding you should have so what is happening now in your input buffer first it will read the raw data okay so raw data it will read only this one right because id and name and after that it will go to the next line okay so there is nothing in next line so it will print only 101 dip but what your double trailing is doing no it will hold the value in the input buffer indefinitely until there is data present in the input buffer to read so what will happen it will hold all these values double trailing will hold all these values which are present until there is data present so until reshma it will hold it okay so what will happen once this is printed in the data set right or it goes to pdv and get Con, uh, and you can see it in data set after that this value will come because why is it happening because your double trailing is holding this value so input buffer will not go to the next line because your double trailing is holding this value once this value is done double trailing is also holding this and after that double trailing will be holding this so that is why in output you can see all the values coming okay so this is the use of your double trailing. I hope my video is clear to you. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe to my channel. Daily I will try to upload one or two videos.